Hello folks, it was only a matter of time before rumors suggesting the next Galaxy S flagship may be powered exclusively by Qualcomm Snapdragon chips started flowing in and the floodgates have now opened. According to Ming-Chi Kuo, Qualcomm will likely be the sole chipset supplier for the Samsung Galaxy S25. The analyst attributes the lack of an Exynos variant to a lower than expected yield for the 3 nanometers fabrication process that will be used for the next flagship Exynos chip, the Exynos 2500. For the Galaxy S24 series, Qualcomm supplied around 40% of the chipsets. Only the Galaxy S24 Ultra features Qualcomm's Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 chip in all markets. The Exynos 2400 powers the base Galaxy S24 and Galaxy S24 Plus everywhere except the US, Canada, China and Japan. In nearly 15 years of making Android phones, the only time Samsung ditched Exynos chips for a Galaxy S flagship lineup was in 2023. It disappointed many when it was confirmed that Exynos would return with the Galaxy Galaxy S24 series, but fortunately, the Exynos 2400 turned out to be an excellent chip, even if it didn't match the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 on all levels. Not a lot is known about the Exynos 2500. Rumors have claimed that it could match the Snapdragon 8 Gen 4 in power efficiency or even surpass it. Those efficiency gains would reportedly be a result of Samsung's second generation 3 nanometers fabrication process, but it now appears that process may not have the desired yield. Usually, Samsung ditching Exynos would please us, but we don't think it's a good thing in this case. Rumor has it that the Snapdragon 8 Gen 4 could be much pricier than its predecessors, which may force Samsung to ask higher prices for the Galaxy S25, S25 Plus and S25 Ultra. The Snapdragon 8 Gen 4 will be manufactured on the 3 nanometers n 3 e process by TSMC, the same advanced manufacturing process used to create Apple's A18 Pro chip. This shift will supposedly cause the Snapdragon 8 Gen 4 to be 25-30% to 30 more expensive than the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3. The latter costs around $190-$200, which means the upcoming Snapdragon 8 Gen 4 might cost as much as $260. The least likely is that Samsung will suffer the extra costs of the newer chip and won't increase the S25's price. Alternatively, the company could cut corners in other areas like battery, display or build quality to make up for the chip higher cost. It's hard to tell what will happen a few months down the line, but perhaps the more likely outcome is that Samsung will increase the launch price of the upcoming Galaxy S25 phones to compensate for Qualcomm's higher production cost. It's still early days in the Galaxy S25 rumor life cycle, so nothing is certain for now, a lot could change in the coming months, and we may not get any solid information about the Galaxy S25 series until after the launch of the Galaxy Z Fold 6 and Galaxy Z Flip 6. Anyway guys, we will keep you updated, so subscribe to the channel. See you in the next one. Good luck to all!